According to reports right now, reliable reports, Mahershala Ali, how many times has he won Oscars, Ray? Two times. Two times. Academy Two Award time. winner Mahershala Ali <laughs> came this close <laughs> to walking from the Blade Project because things are such a mess at Marvel. One of the five different sets of script writers. Five times. Five times. <laughs> <laughs> script writers <laughs> wrote a draft that said Blade was going to be the fourth lead character, <laughs> not the first, not the second, not the third, the fourth lead character in his own show or own movie. Now, this comes to us from Slash Film, who write the following. Now a report in Variety reveals that the behind-the-scenes troubles with the film have grown so frustrating that Mahershala Ali came close to completely walking away from the movie altogether. Here's a glimpse of how strange things have become. As Variety puts it, at one point, the script morphed into a narrative led by a woman and filled with life lessons. Blade was relegated to the fourth lead, a bizarre idea considering that the studio had two-time Oscar winner Mahershala Ali on board. Yes, that's right. Blade wasn't even going to be the main character in the Blade movie. Now, we kind of touched on this yesterday a little bit because one of our viewers sent in a question. I am fine. I'm okay with a big character being used as just the part of an ensemble. Sometimes I think that can be really interesting. I'm even okay with the main character further along in their series in one or two of their chapters, maybe taking the, a back, a little bit of a backseat to another character to get a little bit of shine. I'm, o I'm okay with that in principle. But if you're making a movie called Blade, I expect the movie to be about Blade. Now, this was also kind of, it's funny that the Blade franchise, when it wasn't under Disney, it kind of had the same problem. Mm -hmm. Because they got to Blade 3, and decide, you know what? We're not going to make this a Blade movie. We're going to make this a Night Stalker movie. It's going to be about Jessica Biel and her lightsabers and Hannibal King and Rosie Parker. They, I mean, well, that's her, the actress's name, right? Rosie Parker. I think that's her name. I anyway, think, for, I, I might be know. wrong about her name. Anyway, yelling <laughs> Hannibal King like four or five times, which was Ryan Reynolds' character's name. It got so bad that according to, um, oh, who is the writer? David... The guy who wrote the Dark Knight franchise with Christopher uh, with Christopher Nolan, but anyway, that apparently that dude who was directing Blade Three, that at one point Wesley Snipes literally attacked him and started, David S. Goyer. David Goyer, thank you, attacked him and started choking him on set. Really? Like apparently, yeah. At least that's what David Goyer says, if I understand the stories correctly. Wow. Uh, I mean, it was it was a total mess. Um, Look, we're going to be talking about the overall chaos that Marvel is in right now and the things behind it. And I don't want to go too much into the stuff that we're going to be talking about later. All I'm going to say is this is yet another symptom or byproduct of the chaos that's going on over there because drafts and scripts are being developed and written without oversight and not being given the scrutiny that Marvel used to give their stuff a number of years ago. And because of that, stuff like this flies under the radar. Now, thankfully, at some point, Kevin Feige and others caught wind of this, saw what was being developed, and said, no, and they changed writers again. Uh, but, I mean, it should never have gotten to this to this point. Now, Ray, if you can help me out, how old is Mahershala Ali now? He is 50. Because I think he was think 28 when they signed him on for this. He I think should he be was, 49. He's 49? 49. Okay. <laughs> he was 28 years old when they signed him on for this. I wasn't born yet. Because I believe, yeah, I believe it was Blade. 21 years ago that they know it. But it's been a long time coming and waiting. Anyway, guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of this video, Quip. Guys, you know that good health starts with good habits. And Quip makes it easy by delivering all the oral care essentials that you need to care for your mouth. For example, their incredible electric toothbrush. Guys, I've been using electric toothbrushes for years, and this is easily the best one I've ever owned. Time sonic vibrations with 30-second pulses to guide a dentist-recommended two-minute clean. A lightweight and sleek design for adults and kids with no wires or bulky charger to weigh you down. Reusable handles in a range of sleek metal hues, as well as bright plastic colors sure to make a pop on your bathroom counter. Skip the battery 
batteries and snap into healthy habits with the new rechargeable electric toothbrush. All the features of the original Quip plus one magnetic charge powers up to three months of brushing. In addition to brush heads, Quip also delivers fresh floss, toothpaste, mouthwash, and gum refills every three months from just $7. So if you go to getquip.com slash campia right now, you'll get 20% off any electric toothbrush, mint and gum dispenser, or water flosser. That's your 20% off any electric toothbrush, mint and gum dispenser, water flosser at getquip.com slash campia. That's G-E-T-Q-U-I-P dot com slash campia. Quip, the good habits company. Chris, you read about this story uh, what do you make of it? I'm, yeah, it is so reminiscent of Blade Trinity. Yeah. Which feels so weird. Yeah, that was his movie. Now it's Ryan. And I yeah. love Ryan Reynolds, but I mean, now it's Ryan Reynolds. Big fans of Ryan Reynolds here, but it wasn't a Blade movie. And there's just a certain expectation when you label things, right? I'm I'm a big Food Network person. And if you tell me <laughs> you're making a tiramisu and instead you just throw a couple lady fingers and give me a cup of coffee, I'm going to call that bullshit. <laughs> That's got to be a t-shirt, by the way. <laughs> you tell me a tiramisu and you just give me these in a coffee. Chat, that's make it so. Make some merch for us, okay? 10% of sales go to you. Make it happen. So I think it's so ridiculous that, that they would even go about it this way. This movie has been plagued with issues, with the scripts being changed constantly, with film being shut down. Uh, filming being shut down They've had to swap out directors. Yes. Yeah. I mean, it truly feels cursed. And to have such an incredible talent as your lead to usher in this really interesting macabre part of the Marvel universe, why would you squander this opportunity? There's just some things that are happening at Disney. And obviously we are not privy to everything that is happening. I'm sure behind closed doors, there's a lot of really smart people making great decisions, but it's hard to see everything that's being reported right now and go, what ideas are losing to these? Mm. You didn't have showrunners. You didn't have this. You didn't have that. Some of the most basic ways to construct TV shows, films, etc. It's wild to me that all these things are happening. And I don't blame him for walking away from his movie that keeps being delayed and or considering walking away, I should say, when it keeps being delayed and then he's not even going to be top of the sheet. He's not going to be number one on the call sheet. That's some bullshit. Yeah. I mean, it's and now we're granted. It didn't happen. It didn't happen. It didn't happen. They stopped it. They prevented it. But just the fact that it got to that point is whatever. I mean, he didn't learn the lesson of, of Ryan Reynolds in Blade 3? Come on. I mean, and not that that wasn't Ryan Reynolds' fault, by the way. I'm no. just saying, did not learn that lesson? If they if they need to, they just need to make this like the uh, on-the-side movie. They don't need to connect it to anything. It would be great like uh, that uh, Halloween movie that they released, uh, the, the monster movie. Uh, oh, uh, Werewolf by Werewolf Night. By yeah, night. Well, just make it that a one. Uh, if, if there's some problems with connecting it to everything else, don't connect it. I, would, I just want to see a Blade movie. If I walked into Blade and watched it and he was the fourth most important character in the film, I would be so pissed because we've been waiting for this. I've been waiting for this film for a long time. Yeah, I don't want to see a movie where Blade sits down with a kid on steps and says, Billy, let's talk about why it's important to stay in school. <laughs> Like I, I, I don't want to. I don't want to play with life lessons. I don't. I Keep don't. the fangs in, Billy. No, no. Here's the here's the problem though with with like saying like even if it's separate. What's most of the MCU's fans crying about these days? Nothing feels connected anymore. Which I don't really care whether it feels connected or not. But there's that big problem. But I mean, you're right. Werewolf by Night felt pretty disconnected, and it was great. Guardians of the Galaxy 3 felt totally disconnected from everything else, and it was great. So they could do that, but I think they really do want to make him fit in this world. But there's throwaway ways to do it, too, that still feel satisfying, right? Yeah. Because initially, the Enf the Netflix stuff was maybe possibly canon, right? But you just had things like, oh, well, the big guy running around New York. Oh, so that fight in New York did happen in this universe. Great. And that's all the connection I needed, right? Of, okay. I don't yeah. need to see them it, playing it wasn't together. Overtly connected. It was just implied connected, yeah, which was good enough for universal, most people. Universal, yeah. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campy Show Podcast, available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.